right now. A boy in her arms mauled to death by pit bulls. They weren't going to stop until they were done. Only on 12, and for the first time, her dogs carried out a deadly attack on the child she was babysitting. The images stay in my mind. I see them all day, all night. On the eve of the one-year anniversary, the surprising partnership she's formed to save others. It has taken a year for her to find the courage to share her story. And as 12 News' Christina Palladino reports, she's joined the family of Dax Borkhart for a new mission to keep his memory alive. I have been living March 6, 2013 for the last year. That day changed Susan Iwicki's life forever. She was babysitting Jeff Borkhart's son, Dax, like she did every day at her apartment in Walworth County. After lunch, she let the dogs outside to go to the bathroom. When she called them in, without any warning, she says they snapped. I wasn't able to keep Dax in my arms. And I had my immediate reaction um, was to cover Dax. Iwiki says she tried everything to get the dogs off the toddler. I scratched at them, poked them in the eyes, fought with them. But she couldn't save him. They weren't going to stop until they were done. Iwiki tells me part of her healing has been to work with her friend Jeff on a foundation in his son's memory called Daxon's Friends. The mission is to educate the public on all dog breeds before bringing them into the home. He only had 14 months to live and by starting this organization, I mean, he can live forever. You know, he will not have died in vain. I had to experience the absolute worst day of my life to learn a really hard lesson about breed ownership. So he can move forward, Jeff has forgiven Sue and doesn't blame her for Dax's death. Now their lives are spent honoring his legacy. It's given me a purpose, a cause, it's just something to, to help save lives. Authorities never issued criminal charges in Dax's death. They say it was just a terrible accident. Sue had both her dogs put down immediately. She and her boyfriend got the dogs as puppies, and for three years, she says they never showed any aggression before attacking Dax. Craig. All right, Christina, sad story for sure. Well, new